Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, Colin Zhu, and I'm here on location in Greenville, South Carolina, at uh, Sun Belly Cafe. And I'll be visiting uh, the restaurant owner, uh, Deb, uh, who I'm going to be interviewing, and see what she has cooking up uh, for the community. So you don't want to miss this, and we'll see you inside. Hey guys, um, this is Dr. Colin Zhu, founder of The Chef Doc, and I am here in wonderful um, Greenville, uh, South Carolina. I have to figure out north, south, where am I? <laughs> and um, I am joined by Deb, who is the founder and owner of Sun Belly Cafe, right? And um, I'm just scrolling through town and decided to pop in for a bite to eat and uh, just wanted to be able to capture a story. So why don't you share with the audience um, who you are, what you represent, and why did you start uh, this cafe? So I started, I moved out of Atlanta, moved here in 20, 2006 and left corporate, thought I'd leave for a short amount of time. Um, I was teaching yoga full time and people I noticed were saying they didn't have time to stop and get something healthy to eat. So they were picking up McDonald's for their family in order to have some time you know, for themselves that was self care. So we started selling soup inside the yoga studio. That grew into, well, can we make more meal plans? So we did just meal plan and catering for the first four years inside the studio. Then moved over here and just it's just evolved. We listened to the community and what they need um, slowly evolved into completely vegan, plant-based and gluten-free. And why vegan plant-based? Why was that important to transition to that kind of lifestyle? It goes hand in hand with the yoga philosophy for one. So that made it an easy sell, you know, with the students that were coming in to take class, but also my daughter is celiac and type one diabetic. My son is type one diabetic. We have um, cancer and autoimmune all around our family. So the more we were experimenting with it and, Putting it, I guess experimenting with, is there a market for it? Especially in Greenville, you know, you think, well, we're in the South. Is this really going to take off? And people have been really receptive. We've been very surprised. Is vegan plant-based, is that kind of movement, you know, popular? Or is it still like growing in its infancy? It is definitely growing in Greenville. We've been thrilled. There's more and more restaurants opening up that are plant-based. Almost all the restaurants now offer something plant-based, which is great. Um, and it's, there's been a strong acceptance and a strong move switch to that lifestyle here from all, all ages and all backgrounds. Awesome. And uh, what does your cafe uh, currently serve? We serve almost all locally sourced produce. We have dark spore mushroom, which I think you've had the fun today. <laughs> yeah. And they bring us wonderful wild mushrooms, lion mane, trumpet mushrooms every week. And then we have four or five other farmers that we transfer our menu, change our menu every month. Used to be even more often than that, but at least once a month based on what they're bringing to us. So you work very um, intimately with the local farmers here and make sure that it sorts you know, as locally as possible, decrease food miles, and be in season. Yes, definitely. And we try not to tell them or ask them what we want. We see what's growing, what is what the climate is bringing, what is best for their garden, and then we adapt our menu based on that. And how do you see your cafe um, impacting the community that you're currently in? We hope to have, we work closely with some doctors, Dr. Motley and a couple other doctors and nutritionists, um, healthcare providers, and we listen and try to collaborate with them on what is going to be best for everybody. Um, and it's our, a lot of our older community is now coming on board mm. and doing because of the heart health, they're getting that aspect of it. We work with the Cancer Survivors Park. Mm. Um, so we're trying to, to get as much community building and community backing as we can. And what, give me an example of a customer's experience or feedback since uh, eating at your restaurant. We've had people reduce or completely go off of blood pressure medicine, cholesterol medicine. Um, they just feel better. You know, I think, and we say that most of that is the farms. They're bringing us such fresh produce that you have to feel better when you eat it. So we're just putting what they bring us and putting it on a plate and, and presenting it to them. But they do the most most powerful work. Well, that's definitely far to table. <laughs> and if people wanted to find you, where is the best place to go? Right now, um, social media, Instagram and Facebook. We're redoing our website. So that is our, probably our best outlet. We post our new menu every week. Um, we do still do a lot of deliveries. So we offer deliveries in the evening. We're getting back to nights and weekends. And we do a lot of um, meal plans, a lot of catering, and a lot of events for people. 
Try to reach in so many different avenues as you can. So is it sunbellycafe.com? Or? Yes. It'll be sunbellycafe.com when the website comes back up. Okay. But on Instagram, it's the Sunbelly Cafe. Okay. It's same with Facebook. All right. Any last words for the community and the audience? No, thank you so much for coming out and interviewing <laughs> us. And yeah, we love to see it grow. We love to see people try food, try plant-based for the first time. Um, and it, it brings us a lot of joy. So. It's super busy. I could hardly get her to sit down. So definitely come on down to Sunbelly Cafe in Greenville. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, I just wrapped up uh, that interview. It was a great interview. Um, Deb is a lovely, lovely person, and I love how that you know her mission and drive is impacting the community um, at large and just wanting to do better. So you definitely want to check out um, her meals, her food, um, and uh, definitely uh, check in the show notes to how to reach her and definitely come down and uh, take a bite. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.